last time we looked at VirtualBox and QEMU for performance differences when running Gen 2 and Linux in general. This time we're going to try the veteran VMware. Now VMware was the software that started me off in my virtualization journey I guess. So I'm quite interested to see how it performs in this modern time. And boy, let me tell you, this is one you don't want to miss. So, let's get into it. But first, why should you listen to me? Well, I'm the guy that converted the Gen 2 Live CDs from Gen Kernel to the Distribution Kernel. But hey, enough of that. Let's get into this. Getting VMware to install was an absolute nightmare, I'm not going to lie. Um, I have, well, I kind of wished that I recorded it and it would have been a, a, an entire series on its own. It was that bad. But I'll put all my notes uh, in the wiki now. So if you want to use this, feel free. Uh, I do recommend not using an OpenRC system and instead using systemd. It seems to like that a little bit more. But usual uh, setup here, it'll be a 20 gig image with 30 threads and 60 gig of memory given to this virtual machine. Now I could eat, um, now I couldn't add the QCAL image that I usually add as you will probably remember last time we used the same stage 3 and, and the same portage snapshot which is the 20th of October just so that all these VMs are using the same software so there's no discrepancies in there but yeah because it couldn't use QCAL 2 I figured it a little bit clever on how to do it first of all I tried um, making a, a VDMK that didn't go to plan I tried giving the VM access to the USB again that didn't work so in the end I just created an ISO um, with the files on it just to get it done doesn't matter too much but we're we're done I did the usual setup with uh, installing Gen2 kernel <laughs> that was when I found the first issue <laughs> oh my good god I couldn't get networking to work on this machine. Uh, first of all, I tried looking at some modules that failed miserably. Um, so in the end, I just copied over the disk files from the QEMU install last time. It's not ideal, but for the purposes of our benchmarks. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. With that out of the way, we, we got this machine installed, and what did it cost me? Everything. Let's take a look at the ball system benchmarks now then, shall we? So, popping it onto screen right now, uh, we can see that we were getting 7843 megabytes per second which is huge when we put on screen what we were getting at with the other two so just for reference there uh, QEMU was getting 3502 and VirtualBox was getting 2159 wow wow that's over double I was not expecting read speeds of that to be honest um it kind of makes all the drama of getting this working actually worth it let's take a look at the random right so reason uh the right speeds on this was 182 which is a bit slower than the other two which is a little disappointing as we had 235 from QEMU and 221 from VirtualBox. <laughs> Read speed, absolutely cracking. Write speed, a little bit meh. Let's go and fire over our GCC build though and see how that does. There's a new sheriff in this old tech town. Where's a badge called VMware? 
never backs down Rides tall in the cold with a mighty software sound Keeps the servers safe and the systems tightly bound On the run all the outlaws hiding in the cold Virtual box and QME causing overload Sneaking through the bites in the shadows they abode But VMware's on their tails about to hit the mother load it's a virtual showdown in the world of ones and zeros Sure VMware won't stop until the outlaws close Round them up, lock them down, make the systems purr In this digital frontier, you know who's the star Virtual box is crafty with tricks up its sleeve But Sure VMware's smarter, make sure it can't deceive With its protocol set and its kernel's great reprieve To the jail of outdated tech The outlaws must leave Okie okay, moves a wanderer Emulating as it goes But in the sheriff's database Every outlaw shows With a click and a scan To the virtual jail queue and move goes Sheriff VMware stands tall While the code flows and flows It's a virtual showdown in the world of ones and zeros Sure VMware won't stop until the outlaws close Round them up, lock them down, make the systems purr In this digital frontier, you know who's the star Virtual box is crafty with tricks up its sleeve But sure VMware is smarter Make sure it can't deceive With its protocol set And its kernel's great reprieve To the jail of outdated tech The outlaws must leave Twenty-two eighteen, Which puts it in second place for that one that's going to be that right speed that affects us on this one, unfortunately. But yeah, well, VirtualBox was an absolute nightmare to get set up, and I think that's partly due down to, uh, due to me using an OpenRC system and a kind of hard code it for a system D. But there might actually be a, a use case that if you're reading with a lot of data and not writing much, where VMware might be the choice for you. But yeah, there we have it. There's the big three done and tested. So I still think I'm going to recommend QEMU as the uh, king of virtualization software, the big three. But okay, now it's time for you guys to get into those comment sections and start suggesting some other software that isn't quite well known. Now I don't want front ends for QEMU. I want um, actual software that's its own thing. And I do want to go and check out the BSD offerings, but I'd rather start with Linux first. So if you can suggest some, I will take a look into them and we'll uh, do some tests in the upcoming. But for now, guys, thank you very much. Keep compiling and don't forget to like and subscribe. I make funny Gen 2 videos while also teaching you how to use it properly. If you want to help support me, then visit my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash imolo157. If not, just like and subscribe please, as it really helps with the algorithm.